Alright, welcome back everybody. Let's play Hot Wheels Burn Rubber. In the last episode, we start off with the uh, first circuit of the Bronze Cup, that being Grease Monkey, and then uh, tried out two time trials, just for the sake of it. And uh, now it's time to start the second circuit and final circuit of uh, the Bronze Cup, Putt Putt. Where our tracks get a little bit more interesting, to some degree or another. So, uh, I'm going to stop using track T. I accumulated 200 gold, more gold, uh, getting back to where I was in the uh, tournament. But, I want to use a different vehicle now. I may use one of the vehicles you have unlocked. If I can find any that I'm interested in using. Definitely not using Phaeton, but, uh... Your group's a nice one. There are many cars in this game that actually have uh, stats that stick out. Most of the stats for the cars in this game are pretty similar, actually. Like, similar overall. Not many actually play all that differently, aside from Phaeton, I guess. Having low speed and whatnot. And a couple cars that have really high speed and acceleration. But, uh, a couple of them. Let's, uh... So let's do a hammered coupe. No transmission like usual. And let's just uh, tune this thing up to get back up to speed with the other vehicles. Uh... Generally speaking, wheels and computer are good things to upgrade. Oh dear. Yeah, this thing is expensive. Uh, I'll deal. I have to have low stats, so be it, I guess. I only have to upgrade two things. Muffler doesn't really... Muffler increases a lot of stat stuff. Cool. Alright. That'll be that. Still a little bit handicapped at the moment, but, uh... We will progress. Oh crap. I'm excited to get a fast start there. Oh man, actually my uh, top speed is higher than I expected to be. Cool. Crap. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. That's uh... Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that because it uses up a life. But uh... forgot about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This thing has higher top speed than I realized it did, though. Man. I had to start bringing the engine even earlier. But, uh, anyways. This place, I'm not a big fan of. There are also only, like, two songs in this game for races. Whoops. I'm turning harder than I need to. And I don't care for either of them all that much. By the way, if you're curious, yes, you can actually go into the pocket over there. Beside <laughs> into either of the pockets. Uh, if you can aim the pockets, you can reach and actually go into them. If you feel like it, you'll just drop straight down into the hole. I think you can actually reach all four of them. There should be like an Easter egg in this game if you actually fall into all four holes. That'd be really cool. I think you can actually access all of them. I have a turn pretty tight on this place, though. Pretty tight in this place, though. There's a pretty relatively narrow. Or at least very windy uh, tracking to stay on to if you don't want your speed to suffer. I should probably uh, stay out of sixth gear in this place. Although I'm just handling myself horribly too. The problem I think is that I need to increase the handling on this vehicle. Usually uh, when my handling is kind of bad, I end up uh, turning all over the place. I get 80 gold uh, for each course. Uh, and then I get first place then, which is wonderful. The cell does seem good. Uh, s suspension doesn't increase my handling at all. I guess it does. I want that increase. And buffing your brake also increases your uh, speed, or your uh, brake, your uh, handling. So you might have noticed that some of these don't actually have a sports equivalent, only a race in stock. I don't know why, but like I said last episode, I really have no reason to actually be going for uh, sports anyways. How can I remember my engine? I can't remember my engine twice during that countdown. I like the four course though, it's nice, simple, kind of fun to go around. Just pass with Beaton. Just big, long turns that are fun to mess around on. And I think the same controls a little bit better now. So I mean, all the stats in this game are pretty important, but... 
uh, handling does actually affect your driving it's a bit, but all the cars pretty much have the same stats once they're actually maxed out, aside from a few notable exceptions, including my favorite vehicle in the game. And then there's Sweet Todd, but nobody likes Sweet Todd. And uh, you'll notice that the, so far this entire game I've just kind of been whizzing past the entire uh, pack of AI uh, players. That'll stop happening eventually, but this is the bronze cup, keep in mind. So this is still on the lowest AI setting. Uh, the cups are actually different difficulties in terms of AI. Kind of like the different speeds in uh, Mario Kart, except it doesn't actually affect how fast you go. Although, I guess they are kind of like speed classes too, in that uh, different cars have different stats, and uh, the cars on higher uh, ranked cups will actually have higher speeds as a result, but whatever. Just of course, you know, this place has some rough turns. Dude, mate. Is you actually tune up your cars to max stats pretty quickly, so uh, you can really just go with using whatever car of your choice until you uh, unlock one of the cars that actually have really good max stats. I just have a stock computer. What is that? Now I only have rear end and engine are as stock. So her almost done with uh, pimping this thing. Thank you! See a track T. So there's actually kind of an up and a down to uh Whoa. Be really careful on that turn. As I'm saying, there's kind of an up and a down to actually having good handling. Because, of course, my handling directly affects how quickly you turn. But the thing is, I need to shift down a gear. Uh, the thing is, as you uh, turn more quickly, it's more easy, easy, easy to turn too much. And by that I mean, you can only turn so much in this. You can only turn 90 degrees. If you try to turn any more than 90 degrees, you'll spin out. You'll uh, come to almost a complete stop. Can't turn much more than I did right there, basically. Uh, I tried to kind of do this right there, but I turned too hard. You'll uh, spin out. Uh, you'll start moving completely forwards as you're spinning, too. Uh, so you end up f flying straight into a wall, most likely. And uh, you'll just have a general loss of speed. At uh, you know, without hitting your wall. So it's definitely something you want to try to avoid, but it's something you really need to keep in mind as you uh, develop higher handling, or better handling. Oops. And yes, the speed you're going does affect uh, how far you jump on these things. In fact, there are there's at least one jump in this game that I absolutely hate, because if you're not going full speed and you hit it, you'll actually uh, miss the jump. The consequences of that are actually quite dire. Also, sometimes see that I just kind of leave my uh, gear at fi uh, four or five for extended periods of time, or at least through certain sections of track. It's just because I sometimes find that to navigate the sharper turns, I find it useful to stick to lower speeds. Into the desert. This place is kind of a rough area. I remember the uh, time attack here is actually really rough. But, uh. Alright. <laughs> More tuning, I guess. That's that rear end, the best rear end that has ever been seen. And I'll be at least one more race, uh, at least two more races before we can actually upgrade our engine to turbo. It might be a little while before we actually see a turbo engine, but believe me, turbo engine is a sight to behold. Oh crap! Yeah, got a little bit too excited there. The thing with this place is, if you uh, drive too far out, you, those aren't walls, those brown things. Those are just like... Th <laughs> There's no real logic to this, but they just kind of make you explode. Touching the brown stuff makes you explode like that. And then the game is kind of enough to actually place you on the shortcut. Uh, that's another shortcut uh, that I like to... Kind of like the ones I mentioned in the last episode. In uh, the beach. It's one of those shortcuts that... 
is actually easier to take than it is to not take. I really don't like the existence of that shortcut because it actually takes... I like a shortcut being kind of a risk if you actually pull it off. It does you well, uh, gives you an advantage. That's the risk that pays off. Here it's actually really hard to not take the shortcut. It takes significantly more effort to avoid the shortcut than it is to take it. So, it's really just the game kind of handing you advantage over the, the CPU, which I don't like. Um, the last, I mentioned this before, the last track in the game also has something like that because it completely takes advantage of how this game's rubber banding works. And uh, no other computers will act no computers will actually use that particular uh, shortcut as well. But you'll learn about it when we get to it much later on. Yay! Bronze cup clear. We still have ten minutes in this episode though, so Maelstrom, I like this car. I'll be using that. Oh, we got this thing too. So we got Maelstrom for, I believe, completing uh, Bronze Cup, and then we got Scream and Holler for getting all first place. And yes, overwrite. Go ahead. Save complete. So now I can select Silver Cup. And something that bugs the heck out of me is if I press right, the cups actually like move to the right, but the thing I'm selecting, like, thing I select by pressing right is actually to the left. Always confuses me. But uh, let's do some time trials uh, from the courses that we have not yet unlocked, or that we have not yet actually played. Or at least uh, not yet done time trials of. And I don't think on gold is on gold definitely not enough. Well, on to 300 gold, okay. But you saw the stat increase on that. Uh, a turbo engine alone will, like, triple your stats from the base stats. Makes a huge difference. And it is noticeable. Uh, from the instant you operate it. And yes, always do try to get a, uh... Always try to get, always try to get a good start in, uh... Tri any race in this, uh, including other time trials. Because that means, uh... Sometimes shaved off of your total time. Because you have your best lap, uh, and then you also have your uh, overall time. And it does shave off a good few seconds. As you. Oops, there'll only be some accelerating. I lost my time right there. Uh, by kicking you straight into first gear. That's basically the equivalent of having a. Uh, lap beforehand to keep you up, up to speed. Kind of like how uh, you will usually see in stock car racing. And best lap yet. I suspect that that will be sufficient. Cool. Uh, yeah, usually you can just completely blow away the uh, record times in this without uh, any difficulty. Although there is the desert course, which I actually find pretty difficult to overcome the uh, best time in. Uh, until I have better sets than I do now. Something I'm going to have to hold off on the desert for the time being, sadly. But we'll see. I'll give it a shot. I'll have to have a really good run through the place, though. I don't know why, but that seems that's just the hardest place to actually get a... Uh, if not the hardest, it's one of the hardest places uh, to actually get a to get beat the uh, time trial record but depends largely on the stats of your car because top speed and acceleration and all that jazz so. if I can't do it now, it'll be easy to do later on no worries alright, so something peculiar about this game actually, uh, with how the turning works and your speed you might notice sometimes that if I turn my speed actually stays the same or it might go down one kilometer per hour. But, uh, usually when I, whenever my speed actually goes down when I'm turning, that's because I'm tapping the brake. Because your turning in this game is actually pretty bad, regardless of what car you're using. 
Uh, even with feet on, it's still pretty suck. But, uh, it's pretty much necessary to brake whenever you turn in this game. But if you actually turn without braking, uh, I need to say you actually go faster, but you actually don't lose speed if you do it. So there's a pretty big advantage there. I beat the time on almost 20 seconds. Beautiful. I kind of wish you to get money for this, but oh well. Cleared course. There's another course that I... I want to show you guys just how much I can beat the uh, best time by. Whoa. There are some tracks where it's best to not actually get a uh, fast start, or if you do, you don't want to go into sixth gear immediately afterwards. Or some you might want to only go into like fourth gear for. Let's get the fast start. Just because you'll end up slamming into a wall if you don't. And, uh, anyways, there's a layer track bar. There's a shortcut that I found that you're not supposed to be able to take. I, I can beat the record time by uh, quite a bit, to say the least. But if this game had, a ten had more attention given to it, I'm sure there would be like people going for world records on these tracks. I'd love to see just how good people could get at these. If YouTube still had video responses, which they for some reason removed, which made me sad because I actually made a video response to someone once. And I was very happy because people who liked the video that responded to liked my video too. But, uh. <laughs> if they actually had video responses, I'd ask you guys to actually give me video responses to, uh. some of the videos in this Let's Play, just showing your best times on these tracks. But that's not a possibility! I only beat the best time by three seconds. Wow. Well, I did kind of have difficulties there tonight. No! What are you doing? Oh, yes, there's also a ghost. Wait for the ghost to catch up with me. Ta da! Pretty cool. Uh, anyways. So, this we can do one or two more courses. So, we have three more courses to actually do. Uh, before I start the next shortcut, I guess we could do those now, all three of them maybe. Oh, crap. Shouldn't matter though. This is an easy course to uh, beat the best time on. And as you might expect, the best times do get progressively harder to beat as you go into the later tracks, but it still won't usually pose any issue to you. At higher speeds, though, if you have a uh, car that has high speed, uh, try not to turn too tight on these uh, big bends because you can spin out. This is one of those places where uh, you'll be most prone to doing it. Braking, also, I failed to mention this earlier, braking seems to actually make you turn more quickly, too. Yeah, it most definitely does uh, make you turn a lot more quickly when you're holding down the uh, B button. Fine. I did not take a shortcut, I won't take a shortcut, I guess. The shortcuts in this game are very good shortcuts. They tend to cut out in very large chunks of track. That's two seconds. So this lap right here should definitely be the lap record. I don't know if I'll be able to beat the... Uh, I don't know if I'm able to beat the total time record though with how I've done. At a high enough speed you can actually just do like one continuous turn around each bend. It feels kinda cool, it's really smooth. Oh, well, yeah, that worked just fine. Beat by 10 seconds just about. Cool. Desert course. This one might pose some trouble or a lot. I really expect that to uh, give me a head start, actually. Crap. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to beat the time on this, though. Yeah. I don't think I can actually beat the time on this without a fast start. Because I, I said you do need uh, to go through this pretty course pretty well, or at least I find it kind of difficult to uh, get a good time here, even with the shortcut, even using that. It's kind of weird because usually using the shortcut seems to, uh... Because usually, uh... It seems like the best times were done without the shortcuts.
in developer times that is. We'll have to see. What if the initials that you see for the uh, developer times are actually like the initials of developers? Crap. Still reason for, I see a little reason for it not to be. It's a nice little thing to do, I guess. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not having great high hopes for this. I just can never really get down the end of this place. Uh, those final turns just don't sit well with me here on the desert track. If I can handle that well every time, I'll be a bit better, but I don't think I got it. Why don't I just fast forward? I don't fast forward on camera. I have a habit of fast forward everything when I'm not on camera, though. Oh, I beat it! Okay, cool. No worries, then. I want a vehicle! A new machine, you could say. Vulture Roadster. Not to be confused with Vulture. But Vulture Roadster. And lastly, this desk course, so we can actually start on the uh, Grand Prix next episode on the Silver Cup. Let's go! Shouldn't be any difficulty. And of course, like usually, I actually have to stay on the uh, road path to not lose a bunch of speed. You need to not hit walls too, that's a really good idea. Oh. Anyways. Why are there any ink wells all over this place? Kinda weirds me out. I don't know why, I just always felt really weird that there were ink wells everywhere. I don't know what else those bottles could be though, or the ink. I, I could probably do a lot well, not, eh, a lot better. I just can't speak right when I'm sick. Uh, I could probably do a lot better on these, uh, well, in this game in general, to be honest, uh, if I was not using the animal transmission. In most cases, it is beneficial to be using all my transmission. Uh, to the point where you actually have to be using it pretty well, I think, to actually get a benefit out of manual transmission. You have to really know what you're doing to actually get any good out of it, I think. But, uh, somehow that was actually my best lap time yet. But I think, uh, Actually being able to throttle your speed to some degree or another is actually very useful if you can do it. Oops. If you don't do dumb stuff like I am right now, just uh, fumbling with the gear shift to uh, actually get back up to speed whenever you screw up. Yeah, that was my best lap yet, but oh well. Yep, still be at by 11 seconds. I didn't get anything out of that. But I have the record on all the courses we currently have unlocked, so that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Hell uh, Eagles Burn Rubber. Next time we'll uh, start the Silver Cup and the Grand Prix. So this uh, Let's Play is going on a bit longer than a uh, Stunt Track Challenge, but oh well. Well, it might take out the same amount of time actually. It might be the same. Well, no. It might be uh, two more episodes than Stunt Track Challenge was. We'll see. Anyways, bye guys! No, it wasn't it. Press the wrong key.